Aside from free Mountain Dew and Skittles prize packs, listeners love them some good old requests. But if robots run your radio station, well, how do you train them to pick up the request line? Hey there, I am Jeff, the radio DJ dude, and I'm going to show you how I rolled out this super cool request feature on my all 80s station, Triple X 80s. Now, listeners love the interaction, and this is actually pretty easy to pull off if you already have a WordPress website. So if you're ready to light up those virtual request lines like a Grateful Dead concert, well, call now. Let's go. We are on the air. Yeah. Full disclosure, so many other online radio stations do this more elegantly, so I'm not looking to win a Webby Award for <laughs> a website design. When I decided to add this request feature, it was functionality before Flash. And please, give me a little courtesy guffaw. I chose to call these totally rad quests because I am an all-ladies radio station. Duh. This request page is powered by the request WordPress plugin. That's it. No moss and no less. And it's enough to get you going. Down the road, if you want to improve it, great. We'll take a peek under the hood and see how this plugin works in the back end in a second. But first, let's just go through what a typical listener would experience requesting their favorite 80s jam. Let's say Brenda from Baltimore loves Pass the Ducci. So she searches musical youth to make all of her 80s dreams come true. And oh, looky, looky, there it is. It's in the Triple X 80s library. So Brenda would then click request, and yet it loads another page, and she could type her name in. I'm Brenda. It was my wetting song. And then she submits a request and patiently waits while the robots go to work. Can't wait to hear your favorite 80s tune. Typically, we play one to two requests per hour. And then I explain, if you see a song with a red X, it means the artist or title was recently played. And there's a disclaimer, there's a max of one request per half hour, so everyone has a chance to rock out. Now, you could choose the frequency and the maximum amount of requests any one listener can make. And I'll get to that in the back end. So she's placed a request, and let's jump over to Radio DJ to show you that it actually went through. So here's my live station, and if you look at online requests, oh my gosh, Brenda, prepare to be dazzled. Your request made it onto the list. In a second, I'll show you how those requests actually end up on the air, since I don't run a live radio station. Live meaning me behind the console pushing the buttons. No, my station's 100% rotation-based. First, a tip of the mic to my Icelandic buddy, Olafur. He sent me this wonderfully kind email and actually brought this to my attention. Once again, proof this radio DJ dude listens, and he springs to action for almost any request. Call now, Letitia. Your two live crew is waiting. But for any of this to work, you got to get your hands on the request WordPress plugin. And I'm going to make it super easy for you and offer it right here. I put this link in the description. It's absolutely free. You just go grab this plugin and then install it on the back end of your WordPress site. So now we're backstage in the WordPress dashboard of the XXX80s.com website. And the Radio DJ Options plugin is where we're headed. You have to do a little work in your database to pull this off. First, you need to know your IP address or host name of your Radio DJ database server. And then it's smart within that database, like Heidi SQL, you create a new username and password just for the request feature. And here you enter the name of your database that your station is using. And then you can click verify database settings to make sure it's connected. Look at that. Bada bing. And this plugin is multi-featured. Not only does it include the request functionality, but there's also a now playing feature, which is pretty cool. So this will display the current song playing. And then you could choose how many future songs to display. And then also recently played songs. Really slick. So request options. Obviously, you want to accept requests. And this is important. You select the track type that you want to allow your listeners to make requests from. I mean, it's rare someone wants to request a voiceover or a commercial, so it's best just to stick to music. And then you could choose how many items per page are displayed. And then you have the track and artist repeat rules, which should match your radio DJ settings. And I set the maximum amount of requests to one per IP address 
every 45 minutes. If you're a more generous broadcaster, then go ahead, <laughs> up this to your heart's content. Here you could choose whether or not to allow the listeners to submit their name. And then there's some other settings down here. And here you see the short codes, which you will copy and paste in your actual WordPress page. Track requests is what I'd copy and paste. Heading over to the pages, 80s music requests is the name of that page. So based on my website theme, it's already pulling this header. You don't really have to program that. The page content really begins from here down. Totally rad quests, extreme 80s fun, the little disclaimer. This area here is referenced here with the title, Totally Rad Quest, Extreme Made is Fun, and then here's the text disclaimer. Now, your back end's going to look very different. Oh boy, is it? Especially if you eat a lot of sugar and carbs. All this depends on what site builder you're using in WordPress, but they're all somewhat similar. So that accounts for this section here, but from this section on is covered by that short code that I've used a text block to enter track requests. And you save it, update it, and here it comes to life. Let's say you're a, a Wham! fanatic, and who isn't? Here you see all the different Wham! songs you could choose from. And you remember in the disclaimer we talk about the Red X? Well, you'll see Wham! Wake Me Up Before You Go Go. This track cannot be requested, probably because it's been recently played. But it's super important that you get this section right. Without the proper IP address or an accurate username and password in your database, this thing just crashes and burns. And I think a lot of people have issues with that. And early on, I did too. It took some trial and error to get this right. But I want to jump over to the database to make sure you are set up for success. So here we are in the house of sweet Heidi SQL. Now, my radio station runs on a virtual server in the cloud, which will be a topic of a future video on how to set that up. It is kind of super cool. But that IP information comes from my host, my server. So you enter that IP information, and you remember you saw the username as request? Well, huh? Why does it say Jeff here? And I'll show you where and how to create a new user. So you come up to Tools, and you choose User Manager. Okay, so let's do this. Let's add a new user. Let's call it Request2. And I want to make sure this is accessible from everywhere. And the password, you choose your own password, so... And I choose global privileges because it needs to be able to read and write to your database. So save it. And there's request two. So if we hop back to the website, I'm going to enter the credentials for request two to prove that I'm not full of duchy. So let's enter the new information for the request two user and the password. Call now, one, two, three. Verify the database settings. Success. We're connected. It actually works. And once again, the IP address comes from your, your host, your server. So flying back to my virtual server, which is running triplex80s.com right now, I want to dig into the rotations and show you how I automatically add these requests to the playlist. But if you look right here at number five, you'll see I have a RadQuest promo programmed. Because keep your eye when I open up the rotations for the RadQuest promos. Because what good is this system if you cannot promote it on air? you got to let your listeners know that they have the option to make a request. So if I may direct your attention to line number 13 in this rotation, you'll see a RadQuest promo, which you just saw in the queue. And basically, this is a production element, which is in the promos category and the subcategory of RadQuest promos promos. And I'll play a couple for you in a second. How I have it set up, after I run a RadQuest promo, you see this line? This is where the magic happens. It just says request. But, but if you come up here to where you add items, select track from requests, and then it'll add this line item. And if you go to edit, you have some options. You could choose whether to play a sweeper over the intro of the request, but I do without because I'm using this RadQuest promo to let the world know, hey, this is a request. So you may be thinking, well, what happens if there aren't any requests in the queue, but here you have this item in your rotation that's waiting for a request. Does it just sit there and die in dead air? No, that's the beauty of this. If there aren't any requests in the queue, it'll just automatically play the very next item in your rotation. 
So most of the time this promo plays and it just goes to an 80s song. And the listeners think, oh, wow, that, that's a request. Which gets them thinking, oh, I can make a request. I can interact with this station. That's cool. If you see here down in line 28, I have another RadQuest quick promo. Because during an hour, maybe a listener will hear this first promo, which I let them know how they can make a request. And it may take them a couple minutes to do it, so there's no chance their song's going to play right after this, this promo. But there is a very good chance it'll play down here. So I have two options an hour for a request to be played. For a listener to experience sheer delight. Once again, no request, nobody cares. Well, it'll just roll on to the next item in the rotation. Because Cricket's over in the request land here. Springing over to my production version of Radio DJ, let's dive into some of these request, oh, excuse me, RadQuest promos. Let's take a listen to a couple of these to get your creative juices bubbling. The Triple X80's Rad Quest lines are open. Send me your totally Rad Quest now. XXX80s.com. Make no mistake, it's all about. You, you, you. Triple X80s. Here comes another free range, Botox free, 100% organic. Request. Get yours in at XXX80s.com. Triple X. 80s. Totally awesome 80s. By request. Get yours in at xxx80s.com. Triple X 80s. In a future video, we'll take you over to Adobe Audition and show you how I put these request promos together. And I'll give you some ideas on how you can easily build your own. So, as you saw in the rotation, a promo from this subcategory plays first in the hour. And these are a little longer. The second hit is a much shorter promo, but they're in jingles, Rad Quest Quick. And you'll see some of five seconds, nine seconds, four seconds, much shorter. Put your ear on a couple of these. Triple X 80s. Place your requests. Triple X 80s.com. So there I have the website letting people know how they can make a request. TripleX80s.com Request! Music to your ears. Totally awesome rad quests. TripleX80s.com My request! You heard the female voiceover in there? Powered by RoboChick. That was an AI voiceover, which I profiled in another video, which, look at that, magically up there on the right. That's the link to listen to how you could use AI voices in your radio production. Now, for this to work within Radio DJ, you have to have the plugin installed. I'm pretty sure you have to first look in the Disabled Plugins folder, and there you see Plugin Requests, and you want to copy these two files, head back to the root folder of your Radio DJ installation, and you want to copy those files into the Plugins folder, and here they are right here. Once you install it, it shows up here in the settings. And your options are within the Online Request tab. And I keep this on Auto Refresh. So whenever a request comes in, it automatically will update it in this window. Other options, you can choose to refresh the list by clicking that button. You could um, mark a request as played. So, so if I want to delete that request, if I want to auto add a request to a playlist... I could click this and you'll see Beastie Boys Fight for Your Right to Party probably is at the bottom of the playlist. There we go. It auto added it. And this button tells Radio DJ which position in the playlist should I auto add it to the top or the bottom. And you could show a history of past requests played. And this button right here allows you to add a sweeper from a chosen category over the intro of a request, just to kind of let your listeners know, hey, this is an instant request. If you want to make one, well, get to it. But once again, if you're using rotations to pull off these requesting acrobatics, you'd choose the sweeper setting in there. Keep in mind, if you're adding requests to your playlist through a rotation, like I do, you want to make sure to turn off some of these features. I mean, you can keep auto refresh on, but you don't want the online request feature to start adding songs as they come in. You want to let your rotation handle that. But the caveat with running sweepers over requests, for one, you have no idea of the song intro time. 
So to guarantee that you really have a fresh on-air sound, you're going to want to produce a number of sweepers of varying lengths. I think you'd want at least five or six from two seconds up to maybe a max of seven or eight seconds. But if you really want to get into the weeds about how Radio DJ works with sweepers, oh, I did an exhaustive test. So go pop some corn and crack open a bottle of whiskey and check this link out right up here. It'll answer a lot of your questions about how sweepers really work within Radio DJ and give you some ideas to set yourself up for success. But for me, I don't bother with these sweepers. I prefer to use one of those Rad Quest promos just because they sound wildly better. At the end of the day, that's what we're selling people on and that's how we're captivating them <laughs> with our unique fun sound. While I don't get a ton of requests, it is a nice feature to offer. It definitely makes your radio station feel more live and interactive. And if listeners actually think someone's on the other end of the stream, they're more likely to engage and listen longer. That is proven by science, my friends. So let's hang up the call for this one. Remember, if any part of this process gives you a busy signal, well, feel free to hit me up in the comments right down there. Also, if this happens to light up your fake request line, I'd love a like and subscribe. Thank you. It definitely helps keep our lines open. And I think I pretty much exhausted every phone reference. So let's cut the cord on this one so you could keep rocking those mics all over the world. <laughs>